High school. Woo, high school. Yeah. This is a happy story to begin. It's not, right? No. Before high school started, um, in middle school, I like I wasn't even a blip on the radar for men. I had no boobs. I was in my awkward stage. I was the new kid, so I didn't know anybody. Ninth grade sucks, man. Freshman year, what the fuck is going on? Nobody knows. Who's the name of the guy? Who? Oh. Okay. I don't want to say his name. I don't, I don't. What if he watches this? Rewind back to middle school. There was a guy. I'm gonna give him a new name. I need a good name. It's somebody I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, we'll name him Timmy. It all started in sixth grade when I told Timmy that I had a crush on him and Timmy was like, no, you have a mole on your face and you're ugly. Devastated, heartbroken. I was mole face, I was wit with no tits. Fuck me then, you know? I'll just never date anybody. I'm ugly and awkward. I had no boobs at all. And then when I went into high school, I had like maybe A's. <laughs> A's going into B's. I'm not even existent. You know, other girls got huge boobs already. They're women and I'm just a little flat little square. When I like hit my puberty spurt, growth spurt, uh, going into sophomore to junior year, I went from having like B's to having like triple D's. And then I was a cheerleader and I was in the front of the school and I was like, yeah, Go fight win! Oh my gosh, my titties, hey! And then everybody found out I had boobs because I was wearing sweaters for so long. I was kind of conservative and didn't want the world to know. I wasn't wit with no tits anymore, so I was Laurel who apparently got a boob job at 16 years old. Which I didn't, but everybody, you know, people are mean in high school and were convinced and all the rumors spread that my boobs were fake when I really had just hit womanhood. So what's funny about this story, his senior year, and people were trying to hit on me and date me and whatnot. Timmy, my boy Timmy, who'd shut me down in sixth grade, hits me up begging to take me on a date. Can I go out with you? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, fuck you, Timmy. Can't have this. Nope. Didn't want me when I was flat. Can't have me when I got triple D's. Sorry about it. I became a cheerleader, which was one of the best things I think I did. It was so freaking fun. I met so many cool girls. What's funny is I actually didn't make the cheer team my freshman year. I came back for round two. And honestly, just wearing this outfit, we had to wear it like three times a week, month, like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on game days for like the entire year. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things to wear in the world. <laughs> I feel like a cute little girl. Everything was customized, which was even cooler. I had this jacket. Boom, Laurel for life. I think the only cheer I remember is, here we go, Red Wolves, here we go. <laughs> here we go, Red Wolves, here we go. Yeah, bye. <laughs> you didn't actually leave the You actually walk off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> now just hang back your foot and your skirt, and then you hop back in. Yeah? Okay. Here we go, Red Wolves. Here we go. <laughs> Bye. I don't know if you can see my butt, but I, like, just love twirling in it. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> and then I wasn't wit with no tits anymore. If you guys want to see more of this freaking angel, you know you do. <laughs> All you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Gotta turn on those notifications. Because if they don't tell you, then how are you going to know? You'll never see them if you don't turn on the notifications, so you've got to do that. Yeah. And subscribe, and like, and follow. Because you need more of this girl in your life. Ayo! Ayo! <laughs>